fight commentary breakdowns. What are we watching, Jerry? So this is remember the three person fighting. Yes. I found more footage. Nice. So when I put this up on Facebook, mm -hmm. some of the original people who competed in this actually reached out to me. Oh no way. They said there were 57 hospitalizations oh my during this tournament. Gosh, 57? So now we know this. there's a reason this was canceled. If there was 57 hospitalizations, how many how many people fought in the tournament? Um, I mean, this this says fight 135. Oh so gosh. it looks like there are hundreds of fights. Wow, that's crazy. It's crazy. And I really feel bad for them because if you look behind... The ring, there's like no audience. Yeah, well, it's probably they probably televised it. They probably mm -hmm. put it on like you know cable or whatever. Yeah. Um. So that's where they're getting their viewership. This was in Virginia, by the way. Wow. And I watched briefly this. I wanted to watch the whole thing with you, but from the brief list I saw from this fight, it seemed like there wasn't any kind of double teaming. Whenever there was a chance of double teaming, they'd strike the guy at the disadvantage instead. Interesting. I don't know why. Like, if I were fighting this, I'd try to take out one guy first, and then let's do a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. You know, I don't... So, wait, I think, remember, uh, the, the, the rules are once you clinch up, the other person can't attack. I think so. But I, I thought I saw some of that, too. Hmm. Because that's what I would do immediately. I would just shoot and, and try and clinch. Uh-huh. Uh, because this whole thing is just like waiting to get, you know, yeah. cold clock. Yeah, exactly. Um, I wonder what the best footwork is to, obviously they keep on in this triangulation pattern, yeah. you know? Yeah, makes sense. But, um, I guess I would just try and circle to the outside all the time, yeah. you know? Look at that. So he tries to go, look at that. And then there's, oh. see, so it looks like you can like hit the other person. Really interesting. Yeah. When, when they're clinched up with someone else. Hmm. Yeah, it's super, super trippy, man. I just don't think this would ever really happen in, in real life. Yeah. It's like, it's not a real life scenario. Yeah. I think what would happen in real life is you you'd kind of be a stalemate at yeah. this point, right? Yeah. And right. that's what it looks like here. Mm hmm And usually in real life, there's, there's two sides. There's not going to be three sides. I mean, if there is, the other third side is just going to wait wait it out. Yeah. And, or and join it. sides with the other. Oh, that guy just yeah. got in the middle. That's yeah. the place you don't want to be, obviously, is in the middle. Yeah. So I think that I would just try and circle around. I'm surprised I don't see that more often. Yeah. You know, that's, um, there we go. Now this guy in the blue is, was thinking about it, right? Yep. Guy in the red's got pretty decent quick hands. Yes. Yeah. But his hands are low. Yeah. Like, do you see how low his right arm yeah. is? It's Maybe almost protecting against kicks? Maybe, but that's not, I mean, you really don't want to block kicks with your arm. Exactly. You know? That's true. And... He, I think he was looking for something like a Philly shell type thing. But, uh -huh. but Oof, he, this, like that. this is the third time that yeah. he's accidentally gone in the middle. Yeah. I don't know if his, it looks like his ankle is wrapped. Ah. Uh, and so, but he's, he's slipped multiple times. Yeah. Oof, guy in the white shorts is uh, looping punches, man. Wow. Just looping punches. It looks like the guy in the blue has somewhat straight down the straight rights. Uh huh. But, um,. Oh, see how that, that guy with the big looping haymakers uh -huh. and the lead left hook like that? Yeah. It's so easy to just block it and come right down the pipeline. Uh, uh, Throwing a kick now. It's really hard for them to commit. That's what know, I think so too. To any one angle. Yeah, because the moment you commit, someone else can come up to you. Mm -hmm. Especially with kicks too, because you're also standing only on one limb now. Mm -hmm. So I, I get why they're not throwing as many Woo! kicks. Looks like Blue just got tapped a little bit in the uh -huh. chin. Oh man, I wonder what the best strategy is for this. That yeah. guy with the with the white shorts is just he's just looping his hooks, man. Yeah. He's just looking for like a barroom brawl. Yep. And I just I just think what the guy in red shorts was doing later on in the round was good. Let the two people fight. You just kinda stand there and watch. Totally. Let them let them drain themselves. Let them get exhausted. Yeah. Even just a little bit of tension in your shoulders from keeping your hands up yep. is exhausting. Yeah, it is. Long period of time, man. I know at certain gyms, they have you hold two kettlebells Yeah. to just get used to your hands always being up. I wonder if they would get like a yellow card or anything like that for stalling. Ah, uh, maybe that's why. It was This was shot by an audience member, of course, so the camera angle is just normal. Is it just me or does the red shorts guy look substantially smaller? smaller. Yeah. Yes. I totally was going to say that too. And like different weight classes. It does feel like different weight classes. Like the white shorts and the blue shorts feel like one weight class, and yeah. the red short feels like a smaller weight class. Totally. He's definitely faster. Yeah. Know? He's got the speed advantage. Hmm. If I was to say, if I was to give 
if I was to bet on this right now, mm-hmm. I would say more likely the blue shorts mm-hmm. just because he's just a little bit more technically sound. Uh-huh. But at the same time, the power is behind white shorts yeah. with the loopy yeah. punches. Yeah, agreed. Watch, watch blue shorts take a dive. Yep. See how he gets he gets out of there. It's, he's just the white shorts is telegraphing from a mile away. Uh, it's, it's so easy to avoid because yep. oof. Except when he's like except when it's behind. like that. It looks like there's only two judges. So there's there's two referees for three fighters. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should have one more referee. Yeah. Just in case. There should be one referee for each yeah, fighter. Yeah. Just in case. What if he needs to hold back all three fighters? Something exactly. happens. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even know how they would score this. I think oblique kicks would be a good a good technical Agreed. advantage advantage here. Lots of oblique kicks, um, and spinning back kicks because you can go, you can do a side kick in one direction or you can do a spinning back kick in the other direction. So it's sort of they don't know which one you're gonna do. Yeah. They don't know if you're gonna do a round Muay Thai kick to one rib or if you're gonna do a spinning back kick to the other. Yeah, I agreed. I don't. I don't feel like punches are that effective in this triangle. Yeah. Hmm. Earlier, if, um, you saw the person in red shorts. He went in for a single leg or something, and like mm-hmm. he completely fell. Yeah. He got the the person managed to defend against the single leg. Mm-hmm. To me, the meat of the right behind the knee mm-hmm. is so pr- prime for the picking mm-hmm. in this whole thing. I would just be doing leg kicks. Leg kicks. All okay. day. Yeah. yeah. Because nobody is... Like, do you see how blue shorts, his leg is just open for that? Yeah, I see. I see exactly what you mean. And all you got to do is just put your foot right on the outside so that it's not so obvious that you're going to do that. Uh-huh. Round so, third three. round. Yeah, I don't think I'd be throwing hands. I think I'd just be doing kicks. Yep. See, Ooh, okay, look so at that. That was the spin. See, yeah. like, he was like, okay, I'm going to get in there and, and mix it up so that you can't tell whether or not. Um... I don't see a lot of elbows. Yeah. Maybe there's a rule against elbows. Oh, I don't know. maybe. Ooh, look at that. Good takedown. Takedown. That was more of a sambo takedown where you grab the back of the knee mm-hmm. and then you, uh, you put the pressure on the top shoulder um... and then you uh, sort of push and pull simultaneously. I see. Ooh, it's a great kick. Yeah, white white shorts definitely sh- shows a. I feel like white shorts feels as though he can take out blue shorts faster than he can take out red shorts. That's what it feels like too. He's he's mostly going for blue shorts. Totally. Whoa, a little flip. That was nece- unnecessary. Yeah. That's like in the immortal words of Nate Diaz or Nick Diaz, we're doing spinning shit. Spinning now. shit now. <laughs> yeah. The, Ooh, oof. good good body shot right there with the with the kick. See, like, Blue Shorts has decent, um, oh, he just got tagged, yep. though. Yeah, the White Shorts is mostly going for Blue. Yeah, Look totally. At that. Power shots. Good sprawl by White Shorts. Mm-hmm. So there is no grappling. I guess not. I guess they, they unclinched them up whenever. Interesting. Oof. Oof, good Oof. knee. Yikes. Good knee. Oh, he's out. He took a wow. knee to the dome. Wow. He took a knee to the dome and buckled. Yeah, it looks like it. I wonder if they're going to let him stay. Wow, they're letting him stay in. I guess that's why they're hospitalizations. Shoots, man. Yeah, he's, Look at him, he's, look at him. Yeah, he's, he's slower now. Yeah, he's he's disoriented yeah. for sure. And that's the thing. A lot of times you don't realize that your brain just took some damage until later. No. Because right now you're thinking about the fight. And your adrenaline's yeah. pumping. And... You really, really need a corner or something to... Mm-hmm. I wonder if they came with their coaches or it was just like, okay, I'm just signing up. Mm, better have some corner, man. Yeah, exactly. I guess you can't have a corner because there's no corner, but you yep. get what I'm saying. Side person. Yeah. Have a have a little arc of the circle. Yeah. <laughs> You'll call it your tangent point. Yeah, your man. tangent point. Man. Well, it looks like... It's like Blue's getting a little tired. Yep. Oh, he's shooting for Great shots. sprawl by the second great sprawl by the white. Yeah, I don't know shorts. why he's sprawling though, because they just they separate it once you get taken down anyway. So sure. it's like, what's the point? Maybe he's afraid before they separated, the guy's gonna sneak in a few punches or something. Maybe. Oof, those loopy punches. He he threw a good knee. The blue shorts threw mm-hmm. a good knee though. Right at the pipeline. Dude, guy in red's like doing some wing chung stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, Ooh, going for blue. Oh, the midsection. Oh, Oof. so we kind of don't know who won. Nope. Huh? Who do you think won? Um, I'm probably gonna give it to white shorts. Yeah, I feel like he was the most aggressive. Yeah. So yeah, they don't tell us. Let's look at the comments. By the way, shout out to this channel for having the only footage available of this. Yes. I don't know if anyone could say anything. Yeah, there's nobody saying who won. Oh, looks like he's he was responding to some troll. <laughs> so yeah, and we don't know who won, but I just feel like there's there's a better way they could have done this. Just this just feels like mindless brain damage. Mm -hmm. There's there's no goal to it. Like maybe whoever gets twenty hits on someone wins or point something. System, yeah, it's yeah. a point system. Because yeah. this obviously is not simulating the real world. So you don't right. have to be like, oh, yeah, MMA, you have to knock someone out or submit someone. Right. But, like, don't just make them, like, fight until it's brain damaged. And yeah. it's kind of boring, too, if they're just constantly kind of in stalemate. Mm -hmm. I almost think it would be more engaging if it was two-on-one. Yeah, agreed. You know? Because then it's the clear-cut conflict, clear-cut yeah. clear opposition. Yeah. Um, it, I think in, like, a real-life scenario like this, basically what you would have is... Unless you have two people agreeing to take out the stronger opponent because they're making a, a temporary alliance, yeah. usually what's going to happen is, is one person will sit out and wait for the other two to get exhausted and then come in and clean up afterwards. Yeah, agreed. Like a like a vulture like waiting a for vulture. A, uh, yeah. a jackal to get his food first or whatever. And I think a two-on-one could totally work if in a kind of uh, combat sports situation they have a very big guy versus two small guys, mm -hmm. potentially. But mm -hmm. then the, even though it's... It might seem fair. I think the small guys, just because of the weight class difference, are at much bigger risk of brain damage mm. from the big guys. So maybe that's not exactly good two-on-one. I don't know. You know what would be interesting to me is um, is if they allowed it to go to grappling uh -huh. and did not interfere with the third person coming in uh -huh. and trying to get a victory because then it gets really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have two people trying to focus on grappling while at the same time avoiding punches. Yeah. You yeah. know, that would be really interesting to see what what type of technique develops out yeah. of that. And I think there's so much potential to develop more grappling mm -hmm. that's tailored on what if there's a group punching you. Mm -hmm. I think currently in whether wrestling, jujitsu or whatever, they're like, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're screwed. But mm -hmm. I don't think it's that black and white. Mm -hmm. Like there's probably techniques, whether you know, if you're on bottom, maybe you could use the guy on top to block there's or something. So much there's stuff gotta that be we something we haven't even tapped into yeah. in terms of like there's gotta be ways you can wrap two people up. Yeah. Like if you if you, you know, figure forward two people's legs yeah. and you were able to heel hook them both simultaneously. Or if you were to figure for two people's arms yeah. and able to, you know, do a pull a double Kimura. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's, there's just really interesting stuff that I don't think has really been, um, hasn't, hasn't been exposed yet because mm. we just haven't seen, you know, that type of combat play out. Yeah. And for those of you watching very lightly, potentially fight commentary breakdowns might explore some of this stuff. Sure. You know, yeah. we'll have a bunch of black belts together. Maybe we'll explore what happens if, Two people take on one. Maybe there. I just. I just. My gut feeling tells me there's gotta be ways. Yeah. No, I've seen. I've seen this in in some gyms already, where you know you will have you know uh, like two brown belts essentially take on a black belt, mm -hmm. and a lot of the times what it is is one guy will try to pin the knees together of the of the black belt, uh -huh. whereas the other person will other brown belt will try and do an arm bar or, or a choke, mm -hmm. and so. The black belt black belt's goal is then how do I how do I make sure that my legs are not pinned together so mm -hmm. that I can like he has he has two major weapons yeah. he has the triangle with the arms and he has the triangle with the legs uh -huh. right and if he can if he can somehow capture one of the people in the triangle with the arms yeah all he has to do is find out a way to get the other person in the legs my gut feeling is you're only going to be able to get the legs first uh -huh. Um, and then try to work for the arm triangle or some sort of uh, Americana key lock or Kimura on the second person. Yeah. You know, it's it's going to be very difficult to uh, somehow uh, grapple with somebody while your leg, while your arms are occupied. Yeah, agreed. Know? Agreed. Not impossible, but I think just more difficult. Yeah. And I think a lot of jiu-jitsu people, high level, let's say if it's a high level jiu-jitsu guy versus a low level person mm -hmm. or even somebody with no grappling, mm -hmm. I think the high level person can use one of his 
arms and one of his legs and be able to take out mm -hmm. the less experienced guy. Mm -hmm. So he has the other arm and the other leg. Right, right. So I feel like there is so much potential to sure. experiment in this. Like you, you wrap a guy's, um, you wrap your opponent's arm and then you have one of the legs trapping his arms, mm -hmm. other arm, yeah. and then you kind of have that guy. So then you take your other arm and your other yeah. leg and do something with and the other guy. And if you're actually finishing, like if you're not just like submitting and waiting for taps or whatever it is, and you're actually submit, like finishing, finishing, like in like blackout, choke out, mm -hmm. it only takes like, I can, I can choke someone out with three seconds mm -hmm. in, a, in a darts yeah. very fast. Yeah. And then if somebody else is not choking you out or, or submitting your limbs, in that three seconds, then all you're doing, now you just have one person left. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, all you gotta do is, is hold off that choke or hold off that submission for three seconds while you finish yours and then yep. you can move on to the next person. But, you know, I, 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 something tells me that you're gonna have to get really good at the high percentage finishes, yeah. the darts, the leg try, the, you know, the, 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 uh, um, what did they call it? The I was gonna say just leg triangle. Mm -hmm. Everyone's calling it the the Japanese name now. Oh yeah. But you get what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly those ones. Yeah, and um, but yeah, I mean, there are some fast, fast finishes that yeah. that you you can you can grapple multiple opponents. Yeah, and I wonder this is something we can test out in the future. Of um, course, in the real in the real world, you wouldn't be choking somebody yeah. unconscious instead of going for the three second bulldog choke or the three second. Darsh choke, you would be snapping somebody's yeah, neck. Exactly. Exactly. You know, just or gouging their eyes. Completely yeah. destroying them so you have yeah. enough to fight the other person. Yeah. Yeah. But um something I think we should test out is I get a feeling, for example, since I'm much smaller than you, if I if I and a person my size grapple you, mm -hmm. you could potentially, if you were in the right scenario, mm -hmm. you could take both our backs at the same time. Sure. So like stack me and him mm -hmm. and choke both of us out. I, I, it's something I'm thinking you could do. We could well, try. Be, you know, it'd be amazing. Uh huh. Double guillotine. Double guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah. incredible. Yeah. If you were able to get full guard on two people yeah. and double and guillotine double them. Double guillotine them. Yeah. I think we have to test it out. Yeah. So guys, um, we will do a lot more on camera tests soon. So stay tuned for that, man. See you soon. Yeah. Fight commentary breakdowns out.